Hello there, everybody. Guess what day it is? It's day five, the conclusion. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs a Toledo LLC. Celebrating year number 17 of computer training, more that comes to you. More information can be found at yourcomputerneeds.net. Click on the contact link and I will respond back to you. Thank you all for tuning in. And also thank you all for sharing the videos. Make sure you continue to share the videos. If anyone has missed any of the previous videos, make sure you subscribe. Click on the subscription button or the subscribe button and click on the bell notifications so you'll know when I will post. And I also want you to know that the link will be in the description as far as the upcoming free masterclass, Simple Computer Maintenance for Busy Entrepreneurs, May 7th, 2022, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you register. Again, the link will be in the description. All I need is one hour of your time. That is all I need, one hour of your time to learn the simple tricks, the simple tips, and the simple techniques as far as computer maintenance, because we entrepreneurs can be quite busy. I can relate. Nevertheless, you will need to function in your business, your laptop, your desktop, your tablet, your smartphone, any accessories that you use and on from there. There are many directions I could go as far as concluding this. But what I need to do is make sure that, from my professional opinion, is an understanding of all of this, especially when you are in need of possibly updating the equipment that you have as far as upgrading the equipment that you have. Let me touch on updating, upgrading real quick. If you have to, in the up dating process, purchase this, purchase that, purchase the other, and there is a piece of equipment, there is an all-in-one desktop, let's say, that can do everything that you need to have done and has all the features that you need instead of buying this, buying this, buying that, buying the other, you might as well go ahead and upgrade to get the all-in-one. I want to with the conclusion of this, mention as far as the future of many things when it comes to computers and technology. I am going to just bring up a few facts. Uh, this is from weform.org. It deals with the prediction of by 2030 what computers will be able to do. Actually, some of this is happening right now or is being talked about happening, if you think about it. I touched on a little bit about automation, but mainly artificial intelligence or AI. I was mentioning AI a lot because there is artificial intelligence, there are robotics, there's already tele whatever, telehealth, televisits for your medical or dental appointments. I don't know about dental, but I know definitely medical. Tele this, tele that, remote this, remote that, virtual this, virtual that, and it's going to continue going in that direction. Another example. When a couple of years ago, there was talk about kiosks being at fast food restaurants, and that is continuing on. You are seeing the use of designs. I'm going to say designs because the designs now of computers and smartphones and tablets are going to change. How soon are they going to change? Just keep your ears and eyes and research on the internet peel because that is definitely going to happen. Access to what you need 
many governors having to go online and having what's called webcasts to keep everyone abreast as far as the pandemic was concerned, what was proposed, what was going to happen and all of that. And that really led to really seeing who was part of government and who wasn't part of government. I'm sure there was a lot of concern as far as security and all of that. I'm not going exactly by this information from weformed.org. I'm just bringing up bits and pieces. But I will bring up this fact that was written in this, written on the website. And I quote, all technologists need to be trained in the human as well as the technological so that they understand uses to which their technology could be put and reflect on the uses they want it to be put to. Let me say again, and this is just a part of this article. I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description. All technologists need to be trained in the human as well as the technological so that they understand uses to which their technology could be put and reflect on the uses they want to be put to. Not everybody is a technologist. This is talking about those who are performing that particular task. However, this is a reflection and an indication that guess what? Whatever we do as far as our task, whatever we do as far as our professions, whatever we do as far as our businesses, our roles, whatever we're doing, we are going to have to be more aware of the human side of things as well as the technology side of things. Especially, as I said before, when you see changes as far as how these computers are going to look, as far as how these accessories are going to look, as far as forthcoming innovations, and on from there. Also, as far as, I'm going to say this again, as far as protection, how are you going to have your investment protected? How is the information as far as the terms and conditions going to be presented? And on from there, how are innovations going to be welcomed? How will innovations be resisted? When there's change, you will expect resistance. Also expect adaptation of how we carry out what we need to carry out. Expect change as far as how we communicate. And also expect how you're going to shop. I mean, for instance, there was a time when, for example, if you were going to, let's say, send money, one of the ways was what? A long time ago, Western Union. Now, guess what? There's Walmart to Walmart. You can be at a Walmart somewhere in California and make sure money is sent to someone who is located at a Walmart in Iowa. You can send a cash app if you know someone's cash app on the personal side, and you also can have where you not only have a personal cash app, you also have a business cash app. You have a Zelle business account. You have a Vimino business account. Who knows how things are going to be? Payment systems and acceptance of payments. It's been the past couple of years, but let's just quickly mention cryptocurrency. You have that now. You have it where I saw about a year and a half ago. There was a gas station in my hometown and the sign was, we now accept Bitcoin. And I thought to myself, how in the world are you accepting Bitcoin to pay for gas? This is interesting, which was at the time a wake up call because it's like, okay, now, and I'm sure I'm not the only entrepreneur that has thought this or something similar to this. Now I'm going to have to find a way to integrate cryptocurrency. So when there are those who would like to pay for my products and services, 
though I'm mainly a service oriented company, that I have the capability of accepting cryptocurrency. How am I going to do that? And I know I'm not the only entrepreneur who has thought of this. So it's growth, it's expanding. As a business grows, a business innovates. A business has to think of these things. Even individuals have to think of these things. Computing and technologies, as I usually say, will not stay the same. Computers and technology will always continuously go forward. And we need to adjust and adapt to that, learn about it, get trained so that we can survive, we can thrive, and we can also profit and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Again, thank you all for tuning in. Questions, comments, thoughts, call or text 2419-304-4564. The contact link of yourcomputerneeds.net on social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, YCN, as in Nancy, O-T-L-L-C-05. Reminder again, promotions forthcoming. Register, first masterclass, simple computer maintenance, for busy entrepreneurs, May 7, 2022, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time via Zoom. Make sure to register. Amber Hawkins, your computer needs of Toledo LLC, celebrating year number 17 of Computer Train More that comes to you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thanks again. Bye-bye.